Hey guys, so as you have seen, this video is dedicated to my favorite Destiny 2 beta glitches, but these are not in order from the least cool to most cool, they're just there. No specific order, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. First off, we have a very simple glitch. This one is the glitch behind a wall that is located to the left of where you first fight the Cabal in the inverted Spire Strike. All you have to do is follow me. You must be a warlock and have your super for this. Get to the edge of the map, where I will be shortly, and make sure you have your super. Once you have your daybreak, make sure you pop it in mid-air and just start Icarus dashing all the way to the wall. After that, you're done. That's the glitch, you're out. All you have to do is drop to the other side. Then, you're able to get some cheeky looks at some hidden content. Don't you love getting to see non-finished content that you're not exactly supposed to see and that most of the map doesn't even exist and is just a wormhole with clouds flowing underneath the ground like that's possible? Moving on, next is the infinite super glitch. This involves a guardian using either Daybreak or Sentinel or Arc Strider to get on a pike while using their super at the same time. Then you have to switch your primary weapon, then switch it back, and you're done. Enjoy endless amounts of demolition, destruction, and forever torture inflicted on the Cabal and Fallen. Here's me playing the Daybreak super, demolishing some little kids. Next up, we have a glitch that I learned from NVUS Gaming, which involves, I'm pretty sure, you glitching into a lost sector. Now, this lost sector is very cool. It might not be a lost sector because I couldn't find any symbol, lost sector symbols, but it is definitely a really cool secret area with some really awesome smoke on the ground to create like a nice aroma and effect. And it definitely looks like something that could be a lost sector. It's small, but it's great. As you can see, if you come down here and take a right, there's definitely something, a wall here, that will open up for the public once the full game releases. Next up, we have another crazy glitch that I learned from NVUS Gaming. Now, it, it involved you being another Dawnblade Warlock, and you had to use two supers to make this glitch work. So, it was pretty crazy. It was a great glitch, though, because it allowed you to get behind the wall that you spawn next to when you get into the inverted spire strike so when you first spawn in if you take a left and follow the path you will definitely hit a wall that i'm about to show you in a second that has a little gap underneath it but you can't go through but it'll definitely be open for the full game so here's the wall right here and there is the gap right at the bottom so it was really cool there's a not much to see behind it but still it's still something to do you know something fun to see next up we have one of my favorites it involves commander zavala dying yes that cheeky little titan titan master race popping his cheeky little bubble titan master race died because he got too cocky right when he thought the coast was clear bang That was excruciatingly nauseating. But it's okay, cause guess what? He came back to life, that cheeky titan. Titan Master Race. Just because I want to be different, instead of doing a top 5, I'm gonna do a top 6. Don't ask why, 
ask me why. Anyways, this final glitch allows you to enter another lost sector. You have to glitch out of the map once more and use your daybreak super to get across this mine splitting gap in the ground. Once you get there, you're practically done, and you have to just drop down to this platform and bada bing bada boom. You've made it! It's another small area, but it's very cool and it gets you excited when you think that this area is going to be opened up and easily accessible. Plus, it'll be filled with annoying enemies and loot when the full game comes out. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that this video is not a tutorial on how to glitch into these areas. It's more of a simplified way of me explaining some of the glitches you could've or have or still can do in the Destiny 2 beta. So thanks for watching, please subscribe for more gameplay and content, and I hope to see you all in the very next video.